today I'm in Lyme Regis in Dorset on the south coast of England. We are setting off on our trip from the old cart road near the town clock. From here we will paddle out and around the harbour mouth and sea wall known as the Cobb to Monmouth Beach. Then loop back round and paddle back to where we started. It should take about 20 minutes to half an hour to complete. I'm paddling today with my daughter Abby who will be in the yellow kayak. We are setting off from the pebbled beach by the town clock. Lyme Regis is a town set in the heart of the Jurassic Coast. Oops, that isn't the best place for a camera when you're trying to paddle. <clears throat> so where was I? Lyme Regis is a town set at the heart of the Jurassic Coast, which is a World Heritage Site due to the fossils that can be found here. And I'll come back to the fossils in a bit when we get round to Monmouth Beach. Lyme Regis itself is a historic seaside resort and fishing port situated at the mouth of the River Lynn. Lyme is first mentioned in 774 when the West Saxon King Cyanwolf gave the land next to the River Lynn to the monks of Sherborne Abbey to establish a sea salt manufacturing industry. Over time it developed into an important port and is mentioned in the Doomsday Book of 1086 and in 1284 it received its first royal charter from King Edward I to become Lyme Regis. As time passed, it seemed one royal charter wasn't enough, and in 1591, Queen Elizabeth I gave Lyme Regis its second royal charter. Does that make it Lyme Regis Regis? Lyme Regis is now a thriving town near the Dorset Devon border and is jam packed full of character with fossil shops, delicatessens, pubs and restaurants. It has a sandy beach for the youngsters with the lifeguards in the summer months. It also has its own lifeboat station that was established in 1826 that currently houses an Atlantic 85 class lifeboat and has been featured on the BBC's programme Saving Lives at Sea. Let's hope I don't need them. we are passing now on my right hand side is a man-made structure dating back to the 13th century and it protects the harbour from the southwesterly gales. These southwesterly gales can be quite lively as this footage I took on a different day demonstrates. It also reminds me to tell you that before you set out for a kayak trip on the sea always remember to check the tide times and especially the weather. soaked filming that, so back to sunnier climbs. Why it's called the Cobb is a mystery and is lost in the annals of time, as there isn't really a satisfactory explanation of why it's called that. We do know it's been there for nearly 500 years and there is a drawing dated 1539 
It shows the basic shape similar to the present construction. There may have been additions to it since, but the major part of the cob dates back to then. It was connected to the mainland in 1756 and the north wall was built in 1823. Up until 1780 the harbour was larger than that of the port of Liverpool. The cob has been used in several films and the granny's teeth steps where you can climb up the wall are featured in Jane Austen's novel Persuasion. And there was no mention of this giant pint of Guinness. Be careful climbing granny's teeth as it's not for the faint hearted. Anyway, back to the paddling. I didn't mean to film this in Benny Hill mode and I can't actually paddle this fast. This is Monmouth Beach, where the Duke of Monmouth landed on the 11th of June 1685 in an effort to take the crown from his uncle, King James II. In the following weeks, the Duke of Monmouth made great strides and his growing army of unhappy civilians fought a series of skirmishes with the regular soldiers. But they were unable to capture the city of Bristol and ultimately the rebellion failed. Their punishment was execution. On a lighter note, there are many ammonite fossils that can be seen embedded in the floor and rocks as you walk along Monmouth Beach, and these date back possibly 200 million years. Before you walk that far back in time along Monmouth Beach, you will see the remains of some rusty train tracks. Whilst it seems like the most unlikely place to have a railway line, right on the seafront, well, the reason for this is from 1850 right up until 1914, there was a cement factory and the tracks were used to ship the rocks across the beach. At the start, only loose rocks from the Blue Lias limestone were used and they actually had the kilns on Monmouth Beach. But as time went on, explosives were set off to bring down the larger rocks higher up on the cliff. It seems ironic that they are now pinning up the cliffs around Lime Regis to stop the slides.
as I said at the start, it's called the Jurassic Coast because of the wealth of fossils that can be found here. Let's take a look at the Blue Lias limestone, where many of the fossils can be found. 250 million years ago, this area of the Earth's crust was stretching and sinking. As it sank, layers of sediment piled up one on top of the other to form rocks. First, baking in the deserts during the Triassic period that lasted 50 million years. Then, the more famous, partly thanks to Steven Spielberg and his dinosaur movies, the Jurassic period that stretched from 200 million years ago to about 45 million years. It was then that the sea level rose and changed the desert into a tropical sea. By the end of the Jurassic period, the sea levels fell. A forest grew and then died and was buried beneath the swamps and rivers. This was the start of the Cretaceous period and that was about 145 million years ago until as recent as 66 million years ago. In the Cretaceous period the sea rose again and the sandstone and chalk were laid down across the region, burying the tilted layers of older rock. From then until now, the erosion has carved away the cliffs so we can read the past like a book. It's about a 10 minute paddle back from here, so if you don't want to see that, skip to 20 minutes where I'm back in the shallower waters and I'll show you what I thought was some amazing footage of the sea plant life.
As we paddle back to the start point, the water here is very clear and you can see the plant life. Here you go. Magical, isn't it? cover the other side of Lyme Regis on our paddle past Charmer to Golden Cap, the highest point on the Jurassic coast. That's all for now though, take care.